Okay, welcome to another coffee and kilowatts. We've had a little break here to uh, finish up the fully charged videos and a few other things comparing the 2017 Bolt to the 2020 Chevy Bolt EV. Um, but now back on track with uh, a few different topics, just a weekly dive into things that uh, I think matter and hopefully you do too in the world of electric vehicles. So grab yourself a coffee, let's sit down and have a quick chat about Hyundai Kia Select plans on Electrify America. Cheers. So I'm here at Burlington Mall again, the uh, ever-present Electrify America site, which is uh, blowing in the wind with the raggedy plastic wrap that hopefully this site should have been activated already, but obviously a variety of things. It's a construction site at the moment and uh, they're in the ground, they're ready to go, but I think we'll have a few more months to wait just yet. Just remembered last time I was here, I was reminded to wear a face mask. Uh... Too extreme. Okay, what else have we got? How's that? Better? Okay, well I can't talk with this, but uh, at least you know I've got it, right? So, Hyundai Kia pricing on Electrify America. It's been a uh, bugbear of a lot of uh, Kona Electric and Nero EV drivers. Uh, they've included all of those models in the latest plan from Electrify America which are the select plans. The first to come was the Hyundai select plan in uh, March and uh, just gone in April, we've had the Kia select plan. So what these are, we'll overlay on the screen here, essentially just 35 cents a minute now, um, regardless of uh, power tier and there's no session fees. So you sign up for these plans, no monthly fee, uh, no session fees when you start the uh, charge session as you would normally have if you're not on a membership in um, in any other car but these plans will mean that the uh, cars charging from Hyundai and Kia models will be a flat rate 35 cents a minute which is still significantly higher than say a Bolt EV on the Pass Plus plan which does have the uh, monthly fee of four dollars but quickly eats that up with uh, lowered rates of between 15 and 18 cents a minute depending on which state you're in and again these vary by state so if you're in California check but essentially it's uh, Electrify America's attempt albeit temporary because these uh, plans expire on the 31st of December 2020, so it's just a band-aid of sorts to get some more fair pricing into the mix for Hyundai and Kia drivers. So is it fair? Is it uh, gonna address all the issues? Let's take a quick look. So first things first, it's clearly a step forward just in the fact that they've even addressed it. Uh, it shows that there is, uh, you know, they're hearing the drivers. Uh, it also brings the price down. So what you would pay on the old model where uh, you got shoved into power tier two as a or pricing tier two for the power levels above 75 kilowatts and I think below 125 kilowatts something like that we'll stick them up on the screen as usual um, what you would pay when you're in a Kona electric or a Nero EV would be just bumping up into price tier two because the car can theoretically handle 75 76 kilowatts but in practice you get a little bit lower than that and uh, the best case scenario and you know maybe down into the 60s and 50s uh, if there's other stuff going on maybe it's higher into the the battery maybe it's a colder day several scenarios whereby you are only charging in your Hyundai or Kia model at uh, say 50 or 60 kilowatts but you're being charged the 75 plus kilowatt um, price tier so you'll get a quicker session as you always would with those models than say a Bolt EV but you're also going to be charged it's still going to work out more expensive um, I have taken a look at a few different permutations but one of the best ones that came about was uh, thanks to a viewer who had taken a trip down to Florida from Vermont to Florida uh, in his Kia Nero EV and shared the data so we'll take a look at some of that now and uh, compare the trip. I did try and film this uh, once before and do all the numbers uh, on to camera but it's just the, there's so many numbers that it's not uh, not viable. The takeaway was that um, it would be cheaper obviously to do the trip that he took from uh, Vermont in New England all the way down to Florida and back that was around a 2,300 mile round trip something like that um, and we did a similar trip you know similar length uh, when we came back 
to uh, Boston from Austin, Texas. So they, I compared some of the numbers there. It was still obviously cheaper in a Bolt TV. You uh, you get the benefit of that lower rate that I said, you know, 15 cents per minute in a lot of states and uh, not having the session fee. So it still works out cheaper in our Bolt, but it is longer and you do get the uh, benefit of faster charging on the Kia. So his, uh, his pricing uh, was pre-select plan, so he got the full whack of just whatever the charger uh, decided the price tier he was in was usually two, and he would get the um, the more expensive rate, even though he said, you know, anecdotally he was mostly charging in the 60 kilowatt range, uh, maybe sometimes, you know, just above 70, so not getting what, uh, what you would expect when you're in price tier two of 75 kilowatts plus. Once you get on the select plan, it does bring the price down by say, uh, I think it was, you know, 40 or $50. Again, we'll put the numbers up on the screen. Um, and he was charging, uh, the average charge sessions were around 30, 35 minutes. Whereas in a Bolt TV to get similar amount of energy, you're doing 40, 45 minutes, or sometimes more if you want to go higher into the battery. Um, so there's, you know, there's a difference there. It's a fix. It's certainly there. It uh, will help if uh, people are allowed to travel for summer. That's going to be a bonus, but um, it's still not quite the, you know, the same levels of pricing that uh, they would have hoped to get. I think, you know, the the hope was that Kia and Hyundai drivers would be able to benefit from price tier one and just be, you know, grandfathered into uh, that on a membership plus of the Pass Plus plan. That doesn't seem to be happening. I think Electrify America are sticking to their guns that look, you do get very close to this and the theoretical maximum of the car is above our 75 kilowatt cutoff. So there's, there's still a back and forth gonna be happening on that. Um, most people seem to want to be able to say, well, look, I wanna pull in less than this. I wanna pull in 70 kilowatts or whatever and uh, let the car stay in price tier one the whole time. But for now, you know, if you're taking a road trip this summer in your Kia Niro EV, Hyundai Kona Electric, you should be a little better off in the pocket. You know, there's still gonna be some overcharging there if you stay too high up. That 35 cents a minute isn't cheap when you're charging at, you know, 30, uh, 35 kilowatts. But up into the um, higher ranges when you're in the first half of the battery or up to 60, 70%, uh, you should be in much better shape than you would have been on the old pricing. Fleek here and Hyundai will be able to work with Electrify America to make that a longer term fix but for the moment it's something it shows they're listening as ever I do think they're pretty responsive to these things even though it has taken you know I started talking about this last summer 2019 and we're almost into summer 2020 so it has taken you know nine months but it's it's getting there and they've obviously been focused on I don't know building out a nationwide network so we're a busy team and uh, we appreciate the effort here but there's still some work to do with uh, with this uh, potential for you know models that charge on the cusp of that um, either price tier whether it's price tier one to two or price tier two to three you can start to get very expensive if your car isn't actually achieving the power levels that it's uh, intended for those price tiers so, and let me know what you think do you drive a kia nero ev or a hyundai model that will be affected by this are you happy they addressed it or is it still not good enough as far as you're concerned and uh you know you're receiving charge rates that are essentially in price tier one you should receive price tier one pricing let me know in the comments email me at plug and play ev at gmail.com always willing to take a deep dive into some of these topics and uh discuss whatever anyone's interested in hearing about another coffee and kilowatts in the bag i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching